Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box, all the nice links. Also, drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. Today, I want to try to get something on the screen, okay? So I've been thinking a little bit, as I always do, and we're going to change this animation component to this function to play, okay? So we're just going to copy that, and we're just going to use this one just for now. We're not going to use all this other crap. Okay, we're just going to use this play function and then we're going to do this, add animation. We're going to define that because that's very important. Uh, and then we need a const key here and we need to send in delta time as well. Um, and then we'll be able to play a animation from our from our list of animations. Uh, and I'm just going to go in here and paste this, no, paste the key variable in here, okay? And then animations at position key dot, uh, dot play dt. So that's how it's going to look, all right? And to make that happen... I'm going to go in here into my animation class and go down to update and just say play in here. Just going to call it play. Very simple. I'm going to remove pause for now. Reset. Let's just def define reset. Let's say this current rect equals this start rect and then this timer equals 0 0.f all right so we're going to do that we're going to reset the timer and the current rectangle at where we are basically uh, and then we have to say this sprite dot well we don't have to do the set there because that actually happens at the end of the play anyway um so okay so if we animate it Current rect. Okay. And at the bottom, we're just going to say this sprite dot set uh, texture rectangle. This current rectangle. Um, okay, so at the end, we're going to do that. And here it just resets it. We'll, we'll work with that as it goes on and on and on. Um, otherwise, if it is end rect, um, so let me think here. Da -da 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 -da. Frames x frames. So we have the start x start y. What we could do. Instead of end x, we'll just say frames x and frames y. All right. And you're like, what the hell is going on? Well, frames x multiplied by width. So that helps me out a little bit. So the start y, start x and the start y um, is basically going to be the position or the frame, let's use that as the frame, multiplied by width, frame, frame, x multiplied by, and then frames, y multiplied by height. So that will be the, the, uh, uh, let's see. So how many frames ahead? Okay, which frame I'm on? So frame one, two, three. So frame one. Frame one. Frame, Z, frame 10, one should be on the same line here. And then start frame. Sorry about this, guys and girls. What I'm going to do. So I'm just going to change some stuff up. Start frame X. And then start frame Y. So we'll not work with positions here. We're going to work with 
uh, whoops, start frame. We're gonna work with kind of like indices, right? So say that I wanna start at the first frame, frame one and frame Y one, okay? And then I wanna end up at frame 10 one, then it's just gonna calculate that for me. Instead of ha us having to put in numbers all the time, it's actually gonna help us out a lot. Um, and this is how many frames we want in the animation, and this is which frame we're starting at. So that's gonna help us out quite a bit, pretty sure. Okay, so once we have that, um, yeah, once we have that, see, we're just increasing that. Uh, okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, and then we do the play, which calls this play right here. So now we have to fix the add animation. Probably we won't be able to get something on the screen this video, but next video guaranteed we'll have something on the screen, pretty sure. Um, this animations at key equals. So now we're gonna have to create this whole animation uh, and use this constructor. So I'm just gonna copy this constructor. I know it's a lot of code to copy, but I'm just gonna copy it and I'm going to go down here and where I have this add animation, I'm just gonna do this. So we get the key, the sprite, texture sheet, animation timer, all that stuff. Um, I'm just gonna copy all that here as well. Put that in here like this so it makes it a little easier for us to see what the hell's going on now animation and then we're just going to say sprite this sprite uh, this texture sheet this uh no wait animation timer so it's 10 right let's say 100.f something like that or no, what am I doing? No, 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 no. This is what we need to do. So here we go. Start frame X. Start frame Y. Um, let's keep that structure here so I kind of know what's going on. Start frame Y. Frames X. Frames Y. With height okay so there we go now we created ourselves a little animation um, did it did, did. animation component animation const oh okay okay I see I see I see what's going on I see um, because our animation class does not have that operator uh, we will have a problem we do have a little problem um, but what we could do in our animation component dot h is in this thing here just make it animation pointer and then we're gonna do a new animation in here and here we're just going to delete all of these animations. Uh, so for auto reference i. Uh, and then we're going to go through all of these. This animations. Okay. Delete i dot second because that is what is our animation uh, da, 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 da. okay so we return that so we're just going to delete that really nicely that is our beautiful stuff so there we go now we have a pointer here so we need to use the pointer symbol to play it um, and this is how we add an animation to a key Okay, pretty much, pretty much. Seems okay, seems all right. Huh, huh, eh. Not the best, but um, 
does work, does work. So when we create this, we're probably gonna want a texture sheet here. Texture sheet. Okay. Um, and then go into player. Let's open player.h. Let's just do that and prepare to to create our animation component. So let's go into player.h, uh, go into entity.h again, and we're going to include animation component.h. Okay. Now in player.h, oh no, in entity.h, we need to do a create animation component. Animation component. And to create an animation component, what do we need? We needed a sprite, sprite reference, sprite, sf, texture, reference, texture, sheet. Okay, so we needed those. Um, and then I'm just going to define that. And then we're just going to go into entity.cpp and actually make sure we can create an animation component, just like we did with movement component. So this, uh, whoops, we need the pointer as well to that. So we just go back into the H file, do animation component pointer, animation component. Um, and there we go. And then also we need to delete this animation component animation com equals new animation component. I know I use that word a lot. Uh, sprite texture sheet. So there we go. Now we created ourselves an animation component where we can add animations to, uh, to this stuff. All right. So that's what we can do. We can add stuff. Now, hmm, do, 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 we can, it does update the movement component. We need to do some way, we need to create a little function here, which lets me add an animation to the entity. And I think I'm just going to do that before I end, uh, because no, this is in protect. I don't need to do that. Actually, I have, I have the player. All right. I'm going to go into player.cpp. I'm going to say this create animation component. This sprite, this, uh, or not that actually. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. So we do that. Hmm. Actually, I do need. Maybe I should do this first. Maybe I should do this last, actually, after all of this stuff. Um, probably. And then just send in the texture sheet here. Or not even have this. You know what? That just complicates things. Let's just create all that things in here. Who cares about that right now? This, no, and then texture sheet. Who cares about that right now? Let's just do this. So that actually creates an animation component for me. And then this animation component, add animation. Let's call it idle left uh, this sprite. Uh, texture sheet. There we go. Well, actually, the add animation. How does that work? It takes a texture sheet. I actually don't need to take these two. I'm sorry about that, guys. I should I should have caught up on that before. Remove that. 
from the H and the CPP file, these two things, because remember, we're keeping those two here uh, as well. So I'm just going to do that. Uh, and then, yeah, we do use this sprite, this texture sheet. So we don't need it. We didn't need that. Uh, and then we just go in the player. We don't need to give this in here. Uh, idle left. And then there we go. Animation timer. Um, I don't know, 100.f maybe. Start frame one, one. Uh, how many frames are there? Um, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen. Um, fourteen. And we're gonna. No, wait, what was that? Start frame Y1, X14. And then one, that's the end frame. That's how many frames we're going to go. And then Y1, um, width, let's see. What is the width of one of these? That is a, that is a very good question. That is a very good question. What is it? 14, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 divided by properties divided by 2688 so this is how you got to do it 2688 divided by 14 that's 192 pixels so 192 and the height whoops what was the height um, properties uh, 192 obviously I'm so dumb 192 Okay, so there we go. Now we have something going. I know it's a little longer video today, but I just wanted to make sure we could do this. And if I just make sure I run this and we don't get a little crash, uh, we can end the video. And then in the next video, we should get this on the screen, hopefully. Because right, there's still some stuff I need to do um, before this works properly. So let's just run this. New game. See, so we don't have a character. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. And it didn't crash. Everything happened like I wanted to. Um, idle left and all that stuff. So that is uh, that is that is very nice. That is very very nice. Cool, cool. Um, thank you for watching. I guess we'll. I'll look into this. I'll try to make it a little better. Think it think it through for the next video. And uh, and yeah. That's how we're going to do it. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. Sorry for the slower, longer video. I had to think a little bit. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys and girls in the next one, all right? Bye-bye.